Okay guys, here's the uh, parts car. Just got the hood open for the first time. Everything was rusted real tight on that uh, release. But uh, it's probably been the first time this hood has been opened in 25 to 30 years. This was the uh, previous owner's first Can-Am that he bought in the mid 80s. And uh, it was in good shape for our, probably the first 10 years of its life. And then um, he said he had to store it outside from that point on. And that's when it went downhill. But uh, as you can see why it's a parts car. Uh, cancer on this is pretty substantial. I mean, the hood is not worth salvaging. Obviously, the uh, hardware for the shaker is. Um, I'll probably end up finding a good, clean Le Mans hood and do the modification like uh, they did on these for this package and uh, try to duplicate the hood just so I have an extra one. But uh, lots of rust. Body damage from, uh, I think he said it was the late 80s when he uh, hit a patch of ice and uh, I believe he said he hit a pole. Messed up the quarter panel in the door. Got some rust holes through the rear glass edge back here all the way around the trunk looks decent from first appearance but you can see that it's rotted through a couple spots so that would need some pretty significant work you can see light through the quarter panel down there Trunk pan is not that bad. I haven't pulled the little carpet thing out yet, but bumpers are completely rotted from the inside out. Still has all the factory steel wheels on it. Got the trim rings and all that stuff in a box. Louvers in pretty good shape. The roof isn't bad except for the front inside where the windshield garnish molding goes. Uh, all the clips pulled out because there's nothing to hold to uh, in there because it's so rusted out. But as you can see, there's plenty of cancer here. Very heartbreaking. Still got the original 400 four barrel, 200 horsepower motor that I guess they called it the W7 or W72. That's, I believe, the designation for this motor. Uh, carburetor's in a box somewhere, but you can see this was all exposed for quite a long time. The intake is quite pitted. Uh, I don't know if it's salvageable or not, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough. Lower door panels are in pretty good shape. The uppers need to be restored. It's got the factory sport wheel. Door panel over there is not bad. Everything inside is actually pretty decent looking. Headliner's in really good shape, but as you can see, the rot up there on the front inside of the windshield uh, 
sheet metal up there is pretty well toast. Floorboards are gone. As you can see, this bucket seat is just the uh, uh, the rails that the seat slides on are completely gone. Floorboards are gone. It's got the Grand Prix dash like all the Can-Ams are supposed to have. It does have an interesting option besides the uh, power windows and I guess the uh, bucket seats and console was an option too. Um, it's got an actual, don't know if you can see it, it's got the rear defrost option. Let's see if I can get a light on that. But this has actually got the uh, little wires in the back glass, and this is the first time I've ever seen one in person. I know I've seen them online, you know, eBay auctions and such. But when you got a, a defroster in a southern car, it was nothing more than a little blower motor between the two rear speakers on that back deck. And it had a switch up there that said uh, defog or something like that. But this has actually got a full-blown uh, rear window defrost on it. Get a little better look at this interior. So there's that defrost, and of course it's got the factory radio in it, it's just AM FM. It does have uh, AC, it's got the full gauges except for the tack, which it's got the clock. Um, like I said, it's not too bad on the inside as far as the condition of the interior, but, uh, and I think it's originally... 92,000 miles, but as you can see, there's not much left of everything that holds the interior down to the floor. Anyways, that's an update on the parts car.